The deeper understanding of your existence begins with the initiation of spiritual awakening. It is the first step towards finding the divine existence within, and this is highly personal and miraculously transformative journey. It means to have glance within and see your mind and heart from inside as they really are far away from the influences of the, the world this way. Our third eye gets opened, our eye of divine consciousness. This the journey where you question all that you have been fed with all your life, your beliefs, your psychology, your perceptions, and even the sense of comprehension. This is the journey where you go beyond the boundaries of the minded formed by the societal norm, culture, civilization, and tradition. This is the place where your heart deepens, your mind expands and broadens. This is the place where you discover all your hidden potential and you become ultra pro in each and every approach of yours. Now, if you clearly see, then you will come to notice that if you truly want to reach the depths of your existence, then you have to break away from the norms of the world you are living in. You have to get rid of the past, memories, expectations, and each and everything that the environment gave you and that, my friend, is quite difficult and troublesome. It takes pains to get rid of these outward things because you have been practicing them for too long and most of them since your childhood. But this is the point, my friend. No doubt it takes courage and requires bit sacrifice, but once you do that, you become unbound and liberated from these shackle, and now there is nothing that will pull you back you. Have begun an unstoppable journey towards success and accomplishment. A journey that will take you closer to your desires. But you know, my friend, once you look deep inside, you will automatically forget what is outside because your inside is always bigger than what you see outside and from within. You always aspired to be someone who is more than these outer boundaries who wanted to have more from the divine. The one who wanted to break away from the prison of the, the outer surrounding. You begin feeling empty. You don't like company of the materialistic people. You want to become self-sufficient, you to be in a situation that is grand and everlasting nature not the ones you are living in right now. You begin losing the interest in day-to-day -day usual activities. You want to attain spiritual things. You want divinity. You want the whole universe to be on your side. You want to experience the richness of the world. You want to discover the undiscovered. You want to see the unseen. And all these things make you discontent and keep you at war with the usual boundaries of same day-to-day -day activity. Now, once you begin your journey to spiritual awakening and break away from the usual norms, then the next thing that comes to play is to have clear direction to the divine. And in this attempt, you begin to question your existence. You begin to equation your career. You begin to question happiness. You begin to find contradiction with the world's ways of living material. Gains and money don't give you happiness. These quests of happiness give you a sense of direction where you could find the ultimate source, if happiness. Within your own self, you explore your inner depth and commerce, your journey of spiritual growth. This discontentment is a call to action to make a move towards spirituality. This journey is highly profound, found, and transformative. Now, my friend, you begin finding peace in positivity, love, passion. Instead of the materialistic approach, you find solace in tranquility. You don't like disruption. You become kind, sympathetic this way. All your concerns, worries, and doubts vanish and you develop a sense of confidence and trust higher power, the divinity. This is where out true potential unfolds and we begin to acquire our spiritual rising. Our enlightenment begins and our true transformation starts. And now my friends, when all this happens, everything has to start from a new beginning. You now do have past set. Standards this thing will create discontent at first, but there, my friends, you will have to have patience, you will have to have trust. And now, my friends, with patience and trust in higher power, you will reach the true level of your existence. Remember, my friends, it is only through patience and trust that you will get over the storm of discontent going on inside, but with every minute asked, your trust level will.
increase, and you will reach closer to your destination, your true nature, and this is where you will find real peace and blissfulness that is everlasting in nature. This state is called abyss. This is where we leave our ego. We are no more bound by the illusion of, of our fake identity, given by the surrounding, and we come to know that we are divine in nature. We are one with the universe. We are cosmic in energy. And as a whole, this whole universe is one with, now my friend, if you reach. This level, then you will find love in each and everything. It will extend to all the forms of existence. This love is beyond any personal biases or concern. You will find harmony with each and everything this love of yours will give your life meaning and direction. You will begin finding synchronicities. You will find the coincidences that will eventually take you towards divine destiny. You begin automatically appearing at the right place at the right time. All the things begin happening your way, taking you towards your divine destiny this way. You are no more afraid of the challenges put in front of you by the universe instead. You develop belief that the whole universe is by your sides, and these challenges and trials area actually there to take you more closer to your destiny to make you reach your place at the right time. They act as catalysts that boost your way towards your divine purpose. You begin to realize that those material gains and material objectives of yours that you once had due to the influence of the outer surrounding have no significant value. They are meaningless, they don't pay any role in your blessings, blissfulness, or sadness, we become true authentic. Now we don't want to become what the world wants us to be. We now no more desire to be like someone to get rich. Like somebody, we just want to attain what is rightfully ours. We find that we are the ones who own the whole universe. It all belongs to us. We don't need outer world approval for having or doing anything. We just have to be authentic at ourselves and to the whole cosmos as well, which will ultimately unlock all our potential and we will break free from the outer judgment. You will act as unbiased. You will decide each and everything on merit. You will give the authentic expression to the universe, to the whole world. When you do like that, it means you have become ideal and unparalleled. You are existing in your originality, with the whole universe genuinely becomes your priority. You know, more want fake identity here. You reach this level that you accept and acknowledge this based on their intrinsic divine nature. You don't follow fake outer world illusion that only lead towards darkness, accepting our inside and rejecting. Outside makes a true friend with ourselves. And now we don't require any outer world stimulus and outworld source that could make us happy, make us feel good, confident, or the things that could give us any sense of identity, we just have become self-sufficient. We skip looking ourselves with the eyes of the outer world. This way, we accept each and every floor of ours as our strength, because it was floor in the eyes of the outer world, and now as it is ignored. So there is nothing that is there to hinder us from truly accepting in who we are. What are our values and you know what at this stage we see world with our own eyes and make it as per our own values and glitter it with our own light. Next, in this profound journey of ours, we encounter another shift in our reality. We begin experiencing higher level of consciousness. Our consciousness elevates and it expands the normal, usual boundaries of day-to-day -day life there. We understand our universal unity a bit more and dig a bit more. Deeper in our heart and mind to see the hidden synchronicities are coincidence in all our actions and reactions and all the other happening in the universe. We become egoless, and our bond with the divine gets stronger, and it reaches such a level where completely identify each and everything around us, ignoring all the fake societal identities give to these things. It is just akin to the example that we have, mounted on a high mountain, and now we are looking dawn, and everything has got clear. Our vision has broadened our heart and mind, has expanded and deepened, and now we are looking at each and everything down there from a height of clarity, from the height of baselessness, being completely neutral and divine in nature. We begin realizing that we have to accept both height and depth. 
beauty and ugliness, perfection and imperfection, day and night, small and big, tiny and huge. In fact, each and everything you see, you acknowledge the divinity in it and accept it as it is. This way, you are able to see the life as it is in pure form and existence. The next step after this level is achieved is we begin to develop a divine responsibility where we are determined to bring all these things in their genuine divine. Condition and reality as they have to be far away from the lame world's perception and hence we become the active co-creator with the universe. We are now no more passive and dormant towards the divinity of the things. Instead, we uncover the hidden realities of the things and help to make the whole universe a complete unity where everything goes with harmony with every other thing and head. Towards the journey of manifestation of all your dreams, wishes, and desires, we become the part of the big plan of the universe where we know that all our co-creation is playing a significant role in the overall working of the universe. We find that creativity is intrinsic in nature. We all have hidden power of this creativity. We just have to have a deep understanding of our nature and the courage and power to accept it as our own. In this higher level of existence, we realize that creativity is our own living espresso. It is our reality. We are the part of the divine creation, and we have been bestowed with the power to influence the whole universe just by bringing into use our thoughts, intentions, perceptions, and feelings to tell you the truth. My friend, as you are aware of the happenings in the universe and you are responding to each and everything done by the universe, positively, same is the case with universe. It is also completely aware of all your action. It positively responds to all your positive actions. Now, in the final chapter of today's video, my friend, once you reach and unlock this massively powerful level of your existence, you begin being grateful for each and everything, whether that directly connects with you or not. Because now we are aware we are the fundamental part of each and everything we are connected with the universal processes so my friends it is you integral part that you become conscious of the processes in the universe you become a divine entity of the overall existence of this whole cosmos and your creativity is imperative for its growth and evolution and being humans we all have playing a great role in the development process of this whole universe for the who of our life since our beginning. We develop unconditional love for each and everything. We break all the constraint and boundaries set by the world and completely see what the universe is really up to and how do we play our part here in making it more advanced and evolved. This thing, my friend, will not only contribute to the development, evolution, and growth of the universe, but you also make your existence higher, weigh every step of ever evolution in the universe. And this is how you make your life a living hell and the whole universe as a divine home, filed with love, gratitude, passion, sympathy, compassion, and belief in the higher power. And now in the end, I want you all to completely go through all the information given in this video and practically act on it in your life and see the divine shift in your life and do share your positive experiences with us so that you can be an inspiration for the others as well.